I just never thought that looking like me would get you fast tracked to getting guillotined on Bourbon Street by professional MMA fighter Nate Diaz. I get these texts one morning, like, yo, you okay? Is everything all right? What's good? And I wake up and open Twitter to to see a video of my lookalike, the guy who we had on this podcast, hosted this show, right. being fucking guillotine choked out on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. Or, yeah, New Orleans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By, 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 by Nate Diaz. Like, like hands in the air. <laughs> Guillotine, and while Nate was choking him, he fucking gave him like two knees to the ribs, lets him go. My lookalike, again, basically me, just passes out on the street, KO'd, knocked out, unconscious. I thought it was a bit. When I first saw it, I said they they planned this out yeah. as a promotion for Jake's fight. I did not believe that this was a real thing, and then I started hearing, "Yo, homie was in the emergency room. He had to get what, like eight or nine eight, staples eight in staples. the back of his head? Eight staples, yeah." So I've been I've been hitting him up. I've been dying to interview him. Yeah. You know. And I got a little inside scoop. He won't do the interview, I think, because there's like legal stuff going on now. But he, so he went out there for the Misfits fight, I think it was, yeah, right? Yeah. And he bought tickets, but he was like, I'm just going to try and sneak in saying I'm Logan the whole time. And it worked. It he worked. got in because yeah. he looks that much like you. Oh, actually? He looks a lot like me. Yeah. That, that he got in happened. and he was like sitting ringside. And then the fight happened with Nate and somebody else. And then out. I mean, he was kind of approaching Nate with his hands up. Yeah, so and this is a good move to just, you no, know. No, but, but, but in my eyes, it looked like he was doing his hands up like, yo, listen, I just want to say this. I'm not a threat. Like, is that not what it looked it, like? The issue was he was walking towards him. Yeah. Like, he was walking to... And, and what you said, I mean, you can go from here That's what to, I do when I'm about to fight somebody. I'm like, yo, chill, it's, bro. It's, it's not worth it. Bam. Trickery. <laughs> and then first shot. Whoever gets the first shot in a street fight has a way better Usually chance of wins. wins. Yeah. So, so the, I mean, but it's Nate Diaz. That's the thing. And, and maybe, maybe Nate felt... Uh, like he was in danger or something, but I reached out to the guy and I was like, this is fucked up. Like it was actually hard to watch. Um, and I felt bad for him and he, and he looks like me. We got to protect our kind. And so I offered to, to fund the lawsuit against Nate Diaz. And so I, I connected him with uh, some, some legal counsel and I think he'll probably be walking away with a pretty healthy check from Wait, Nate. So, you're, so that's so why I won't do the interview. So you're paying for his lawyers? I offered to, and then it turns out the legal team we connected him with is taking the case pro bono because, it. I mean, I, I would assume they think it's a takeaway. Like, well, there isn't really much to say about no, it. A professional MMA fighter choked out a civilian with relatively zero com no combat no, experience. I would bet that Rodney, his first of all, his name's fucking Rodney. Rodney. <laughs> I would, I, and just judging by having met him, I don't think he's ever. I think he has zero combat. No, no, he has. No, he has a, one fight. He's a blue belt in jiu-jitsu too. Professional, one professional fight. No, no, not professional. No, he, I think he's a blue belt. I don't do know. Do you know anything about the fight that he had? The one fight. I think, I think he won. It was like it was like a it was like an influencer fight. He has a actual boxing fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> against. That, I don't know why that like, was it against fake KSI. Like KSI's look like <laughs> that. That would have been so good. <laughs> they, that would have been so. That's Mark. Do you know who he fought? I don't know. So, so no. how does this, how, as of right now, how, how does, does this affect, affect LeBron's Diaz? legacy? Oh. No, how do, that's already locked in. Right. How does this affect Diaz, Jake Paul? You know, I was wondering that. Um, it's, anno it's annoying. You know, you know why it's annoying? I'll say it. Because I was supposed to fight Nate. I was supposed to fight Nate. He goes and fights my little brother instead, and then chokes out my lookalike in the street. <laughs> Your doppelganger. <laughs> the fuck is that? So weird. You're, you're a, he's a bully. It's crazy. I want he's, he's wag. He's whack, dude. Um, but I, I, I don't think it affects it at all. I think the fight's gonna gonna go on. I think uh, I think Jake's gonna win August fifth, which is crazy, because um, SummerSlam WWE is also August fifth, <laughs> which I, I don't know if I'm perform performing oh, yet. But shit. if I am, and me and Jake are both doing these big events on one night, August fifth, it's gonna be a cr it's gonna be a crazy night for the Pauls. But Jake better win. I better win too. I wanted you to face off against Diaz after you bitched out of the Danis fight. <laughs> Let me ask you something. What? Who the fuck do you think you are? What do you mean? You wouldn't sign the contract, bro. Well, you didn't want to get in the ring. My fucking with, knee exploded. You did not want to get in the ring with the f phenom that is Dylan <laughs> Dennis, bro. Just admit it right fucking now, dude. You're you are scared to fight Dylan. <laughs> yo, 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 Dylan. I swear to God, is replaying these last twenty five seconds at his computer and just. Beating his meat, man. He, no, he's, he's gonna turn he's, it into something. He's never been gassed up he this much in his life. <laughs> by you, Mike? He's an engagement specialist, bro. He, he's he, dude. He's, he's farming I, impressions. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.